Welcome. So in front of me I have the Realme GT Neo 2 and today I will show you how to record screen on this phone. So let's get started by pulling our not notification down and finding the toggle which for me looks to be right over here. So once you find it you can tap on it to start recording. Just allow all of it, all the things that it needs. And as you can see, it brings out this little panel right here. And if you're doing this for the first time, it also tells you how we can use it. So tap over here to record, access settings, and simply close it. So I'm going to just tap it. And from here, I will actually start off by going into the settings because this will allow me to customize how it records. So in here, we have things like video resolution, frame rates, um, and so on. So honestly, there is a couple things that you might want to change. Number one, in terms of sound, you might want to, as an example, record sound system, microphone, or both. Uh, that's completely up to you which one you pick. Uh, but if you're planning to use both, uh, do use headphones with this because it might create an unwanted echo effect where the phone records uh, itself as the internal sound and also then records microphone which picks up whatever the phone is outputting through the speakers. So keep that in mind. And additionally, what I would recommend you to change is the video resolution from medium of 720p to either the high 1080p, uh, 16 bits, or going to custom and you can even uh, make it, oh wait, no, 16 bit is already the highest, so you can't make it any higher. So yeah, pick whichever one you want, though generally I would recommend you to go with the high in this case because it will just give you the best uh, visual fidelity, at least the best one that this phone can provide. And then under frame rate, just close this for a moment. Under frame rate, as you can see, we have uh, several options. We have dynamic, which might actually be fairly decent here uh, because we do have 60 frames. So I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna utilize it. So just to be safe, I'm gonna hard cap it to 60. And that means that it will record uh, footage always at 60 frames and it won't vary at all. Now, the dynamic, if I understand this correctly, Let's see. Yeah, if I understand this correctly, it will change the frame rate of the recording based on what's on the screen, which would mean that the video would be recorded in several frame rates, which I don't even know if that's possible. So yeah. So I just prefer to keep it at 60. And we have a couple additional options right here, so toggle them at your will. And anyway. Once you have gone through the settings, you don't actually have to go back to those settings ever again, assuming you don't want to change anything. And whenever you want to record, simply click on this little circle, and this will start recording, which you can see right here, countdown. And whatever you will do right now will be recorded by the device. So you can open up apps from here, which will be recorded. Um, you can play games and so on. And once you're done with it, you can interact with this overlay right here, click on the red square and this will automatically save the recording. So you can access that recording in your gallery application. As you can see, there it is. And while it's playing, I'm gonna quickly mention one additional thing. If you ever thought about, I don't know, recording something like Netflix uh, with the video recorder, don't bother. Uh, Netflix does have some way of blocking it most of the time. So when you try to do so, all you will get is just the sound from for instance a TV show uh, but in terms of visual uh, you will just get a permanently like black screen and nothing to it so it's kind of pointless but anyway this is how you could record your screen on this phone and also where you can find that recording and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching mm -hmm.